In this video, I'm gonna do another t-shirt design in Affinity Designer, this one right here. This time, I'm gonna use the website Vecteezy for my vector graphics. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and I wanna teach you how to design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this design right here that I've done in Affinity Designer, and I'm gonna use graphics from a website called Vecteezy. So there's been a bunch of people in my Facebook group that said they've used Vecteezy before, so I wanted to give it a try. I'm gonna show you what you can find there. I'm gonna download a couple of pieces and make a t-shirt with it um, and with Affinity Designer. So you can use any vector program. So if you have Illustrator or you have any other one of those, CorelDRAW probably could do it as well. So any of these, and I like this because I love working in vectors. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to move things around and color and things like that. We're gonna make this t-shirt together. I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step on how to do it and kind of tell you what Vecteezy offers. So let's get into the internet and I'll show you Vecteezy right now. So here I am on Vecteezy. You can see right here, vecteezy.com. Um, I'm in the incognito mode so that you can see how to buy this or what the sales are on here. Um, on my account, I, I logged in and you can't see these things. So I'll show you right now. So there's a sale going on right now. Usually it's $9 per month if you buy the full yearly subscription and it's $14 a month here um, if you just go month to month. And this is the difference. You, there are some free stuff. I'll show you what the free stuff is and the kind of attribution you're doing. And really it doesn't work really well for, for merch for the free version. I mean, it's good for you to play around and try it out for free, but as far as using free stuff for merch stuff, uh, it, it's not very good. I'll show you that. Pro is probably what you're gonna wanna use. If you're gonna use Vecteezy, you might as well get the Pro account. I'll show you how many vectors there are. There's just a ton of stuff on there. But uh, you can see right now they're doing this uh, sale for $7.20 instead of $9. So it saves you 20% is what it's saying right here. And that's it. So there's other purchasing things just to get these out of the way, but you can see you can do it per download as well if you wanna do that. But we're doing multiple, we're doing so many designs for t-shirt designs. I think the best thing to do, if you're gonna get this, uh, no pressure, but 720, um, that's like selling two, two t-shirts, right? So if you can, if you feel like you can use this to sell and get more sales and get at least two sales, it could pay for itself. So let me show you um, what the free is. So like I said, you can have so many vectors. I'm just gonna type in Cinco de Mayo and you'll see how many there are. Just insane amount of vector files. This is just Cinco de Mayo, right? It's just a bunch of those. And you can see a lot of them are for free right here. But the reason I said don't do free is when you go on here and you say free download attribution acquired, you're gonna click on this and you're gonna see um, this one needs the attribution and there's the link there. But if you click here to see what you need to do on Merch It, uh, which is us, t-shirts, please add vecteezy.com to the final design. So they want you to add this vecteezy.com to your t-shirt design, which I, I don't think that's a good idea. Having the word vecteezy on your t-shirt and thing, it, it seems weird. So I wouldn't do that. I would just go and get the pro license and that's what I have to show you is with the pro license. So you'll see that I can just download this stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And here's mine, I'm signed in with the pro version. Let's find something that we can do. You saw there's a ton of Cinco de Mayo stuff. I'm gonna do nachos just to be different. Still in the Cinco de Mayo range, but uh, let's do nachos. You can see a ton of nacho stuff and now it doesn't say free or pro or whatever because I'm logged in with my pro account. I'm gonna download this one. This one is really cool. It has all the different little things. Uh, little nachos there. I, I think I can use one of these. I love cute kawaii stuff anyway. Uh, and then you can see you can do a lot of other ones. Look at all these kawaii stuff that I'm gonna be able to use. One of the rules with Vecteezy and a lot of these graphic websites is you can't just put the same graphic. You can't use it unaltered. So you wanna change it and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back to where we were 
my plan is to take something and put maybe a sombrero on here and change the colors and things like that. So let's see if we can find a good, good one with uh, sombreros and stuff. I'm gonna scroll down. This one right here. So it has a sombrero, mustache, I could use uh, tacos, things like that. Um, I'm gonna add this to the other one. I'll download this one as well. And you can see, because I have the pro version, I don't have to put that vectizi.com on my t-shirt. So no attribution required, but I do have to combine things and change it up and make it so it's not exactly this. But look at all these things, it's so cool. One thing I would check as well, not only to change it, but I would check the print on demand sites that you're selling on. So do a search. In my case, I'm gonna do a search for nachos, uh, nacho t-shirts and make sure that um, those designs that I'm using are not being used there as well. So you don't wanna to have to look like you're copying them as well. So even though you have the rights to do this, it's still nice to check the print on demand sites that you're doing so that you don't have something similar and people think that you're copying them even though you you know that you're downloading from Vecteezy. So um, that's one thing I would say. So I'm gonna download these things, bring it into Affinity Designer and you're gonna see how I'm gonna put it together so that it's totally different and then I can follow the rules from Vecteezy and make something totally new and put it on sale and print on demand. So here I am in Affinity Designer. I just wanted to show you what the folders look like. You download the file, it has a zip, you unlock the zip or expand the zip, and then you'll see this. This is the Nacho one that I have. It comes in an EPS and a JPEG and the licensing information PDF. And the, the other one with all the sombrero and the mustache and things like that, that's this one. Um, you open it up, it also has a JPEG and an EPS and a, information. So we're going to just do the EPS. I open these two EPSs in Affinity Designer. So you can see right here, this is the one we saw on Vecteezy. And then this one is what we saw in Vecteezy as well. And then I just opened another um, window here with my board, my 4500 by 5400 artboard, my Merch by Amazon size, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go get one of these nachos and because it's a vector, I can scale it up. So you can see it looks pretty small here, but that's okay. There's a background here. I'm gonna just delete that there so I can grab this. So I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna group it actually, group it and then copy and then come over here and just paste it in my file. And then I'm just gonna make it bigger something like that. I don't know the size, but you can see that's centered. So we're going to leave it centered like that. And I can double click on these and move things around. If I want the heart somewhere else, put this here, I can do that. If I want to move the eyes, you know, let's zoom in, pick this white eye and this eye, I can move the eyes up here if I wanted to. <laughs> kind of looks like a Picasso now, but I'm going to move this eye up here and so on. So Whatever you wanna do, it's totally vector, right? So I can change the color of these like that. Maybe make it the same color as this. Boom. I can totally remove this if I don't want it and so on. So that's what we're gonna do there. The next thing I'm gonna do is, you know, take some of this stuff. So I'm gonna take a hat, I'm gonna group that. I want the mustache, I'm gonna group that. And maybe a taco, so let's, group that, um, but not these, whoops. Okay, I think that's the taco, that's the taco, group that. So taco, sombrero, and mustache. I'm gonna copy this and put it here. Boom, so now we have it all. Um, and let's see what size, maybe I'm gonna have the nacho wearing the sombrero. You can see that's different. Um, put that mustache here. <laughs> that's funny okay and then I don't know maybe covering like that maybe tilt it and then tacos I'm gonna put a taco in each hand so I'm gonna easy right so this is very different from what we started with so that's good and we colored some stuff so that's good and I'm gonna add text maybe flip this taco here and put it in this hand here Good. All right, 
So let's get something with nachos and tacos. I want something curved, or since it's like this, I'm gonna curve the text, um, maybe like that, and go to the text. And remember, you can just click on here and start typing. If you, uh, let's use a font. I'm gonna use this rough one. The Forgen rough one is the font that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see. If you, I'm gonna say if you don't like tacos or love tacos, let's see. Here. And do the center, boom. Okay, let's make that bigger again. I don't know what size we're gonna do. Let's try 72, 90, 96. Oh, that seems too big. Let's try it 110. Yeah. All right, so if you don't, maybe I'll put a love tacos. Love, oh, we, we want it in this text though. I like that forge and rough one. Let's do that. Again, if you don't love tacos, something like that. Yeah. If you don't love tacos, I'm not. I am not your type. Nacho type. Nacho. Um, nacho can see how easy it is to, to change this up with Affinity Designer, right? Uh, I'm gonna use a different font here, my favorite, Veneer. Let's do that and make sure, Nacho. I'm doing the caps lock, so the caps lock on Veneer actually has more um, distress on it and I want that distress here. I'm gonna center this as well, there we go. Nacho type. Could work. All right, let's center all of this. There, you see that line? Cool. Let's see, I love using the guide, so let's make sure that this is out here. Perfect, so this doesn't look centered to me. I'm gonna kind of center that. And one trick to do, maybe move this so that it looks centered. I know it's a little off on his head, so we can kind of tilt like that. That's still funny, right? And we got these hearts. Oh, if you don't like, maybe we can make these bigger. Let's see. Yeah, make it to the edge here. Yeah, that looks better. And then come in here, and I'm doing option, um, left arrow just to move things in a little bit. I don't like the spacing. Maybe this one can do better and bigger in, in, in a little bit. So that's the nice thing about Affinity Designer. You can play with the text there. If you feel like something needs to get closer, you can move those in. Um, but I think everything looks great. All right. Um, one thing I wanna do is put this on a black t-shirt. So let's do that. And of course my text isn't gonna show on a black t-shirt, so let's make this text, maybe the color of the nacho here. Same color. Yeah, what do you think about that, guys? Um, let's change this, put this in the back. And gotta get this heart. Maybe put another heart here since it's love. No, put it there. Under the taco. Yeah, I mean, very simple design, but you can see I took this from Vectizi. I changed it up. Uh, I didn't have a mustache. You can see it looks very different than what we started with. Um, and you can use, like, maybe this mustache needs to be a, a different color. Let's see. Would it look good in pink? Pink mustache, <laughs> that looks funny. Um, make sure that this is black. Let's see this background, super black. Yeah, and you can play around with the colors, but you can see really cool. Maybe move this to kind of center it. 
There you go. If you don't like tacos, I'm nacho type. Super simple. You saw I did this in less than uh, just a few minutes with stuff from Vectizi. Now we can do this over and over again. If you can do a bunch of these, hopefully you can make your money back that $9 a month and get some sales with this because it's you can save time by not having to draw your own stuff. And they've got some really cool vectors. And because it's vectors, you can easily come in here and change the color, change the type, move things around, remove stuff and things like that. So there you go, Vectizi and Affinity Designer work really well together. Hopefully it works really well with whatever vector program you're using. You can do this as well in Photoshop or any of the other ones you saw that it had a JPEG as well, but I just love working in vectors because I have the flexibility of um, picking things within it. Um, with the JPEG, these things right here, like this wouldn't would be um, combined together. So. Um, in the vector, I can actually change this one or move the eyes and, and things like that, like you saw how I did. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you. You can see kind of the power of having something like Vectizi. There's lots of different websites out there, but Vectizi is one of them, but it has just a ton of designs. And again, it's $9 a month. If you're thinking Vectizi is something that you would want to try month to month or for the whole year, I have a link in the description to Vectizi. It's an affiliate link. So if you want to try it out, it kind of helps me out as well. Thanks again for watching this video. If it was really helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video for those of the people that you think would like to know more about Vectizi and designing in Affinity Designer. So the question of the day for this video is, what other applications do you use for getting graphics? This one is about Vectizi, but I know there's lots of other ones like Creative Market and Vexels and there's so many out there. Let me know in the comments which one you use and why you use it, why you think it is. And if you want me to do a tutorial or video with it, let me know that in the comments as well. I can try those out too. I think it would make a great video. So thanks again for watching this video. And if you want to see more tutorials on t-shirt designs, make sure to click on these right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.